this video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIPSCDKey is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIP SD key offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 20% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or GCash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. Hey, what's up guys? Action here. Today, we're going to unbox the new colorful iGame GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super Vulkan W Aussie 16GB. Then, I'll tell you about my first impressions as well as some features of the card itself. We'll be doing a separate video for the performance test or benchmarks, so stay tuned for that as well. But before I unbox this, let's take a look muna at the box itself, which is mostly gray or silver in color. Pero what I really like is that pag tinamaan ng ilaw yung box, eh nagkakaroon ito ng holographic effect so it makes the impression na sa box pa lang, alam na nating mamahalin ang laman. At the front of the box, there's the card itself printed in all white. As well as some features described like it has a 16GB GDDR6X VRAM and also some key NVIDIA features gaya ng DLSS3, Reflex, Ray Tracing, Studio, at iba pa. At the back naman, you'll see some of the other highlights of the card including the smart LCD which you can put either on the GPU or on the top of your desk through the display dock. So unboxing the card itself, you'll see first this phrase that says, Love what you play. Pag angat mo ng cover. And then, we'll remove the protective padding. So, this will reveal the accessories ng card. Like yung adjustable anti-sag nila, the smart LCD panel, screwdriver, quick start guide, at iba pa. Under the accessory package, there's the GPU itself. Set aside muna natin for now. And then, this is the display dock for the LCD. And some cables, which I assume this one is to connect sa USB header. And also, the NVIDIA 12V high power adapter. On the accessory package, we'll open this one. So, meron tayo ditong white gloves. I assume this is so you wear them during PC build assembly para di ka magroon ng finger pins on the surfaces. So, let's wear this while unboxing the rest. Meron din tayong microfiber cloth for cleaning as well as sticker and the quick start guide. Next is this one which has the Vulkan logo and I think ito yung i-attach dun sa graphics card if you want to use the LCD as a standalone display separately mounted on the display dock. So there are contact pins there which will connect it to the dock sa GPU. So this one naman is the smart LCD panel. So this can be used in two ways. First is yun nga i-connect sa GPU or the second one which is by using this display dock so that you can use this as a standalone display na pwede ilagay sa lamesa or everywhere. And is customizable din so you can put custom images. So try natin isaksak ito sa power bank to see how does it look like. By default, you can see the Vulkan logo but this supports custom images and further customization through Colorful's iGame Center application. Next is this black screwdriver which has these two bits. There's a smaller and a larger Philips head so that you can use it for stalling the GPU sa PC mo or building the whole computer with it. We also have an anti-sag stand. There's a little bit of assembly required pero madali lang ito as you can see. Bolt on lang ito and this will help you prevent GPU sagging due to the GPU size and weight. Adjustable ito depende sa height ng case mo and the GPU so you can easily find the perfect fit. And lastly, we have the graphics card itself. So puting puti ito with some silver accents. And as they describe it, the design is like a cyberpunk style with sharp triangles and metal elements. As you can see from the front shroud to the back plate, there's the connector pins for connecting either this accessory or smart LCD on the GPU. At the back plate, you can see that there's some red lines and a huge hole that shows the white heat sinks. There's also four display connection ports, three display port and one HDMI as well as a switch for normal and turbo one-click overclocking. It is also equipped with a metal exoskeleton that provides strong protection for the graphics card's body. Vortex Redator, which pertains to the cooling system on the card. Triple 104mm fans with dual ball bearings. Numerous thermal pipes for heat dissipation and iGames vacuum copper plate technology. Price at 72,000 pesos SRP, so if you want a graphics card that is mainly white, I think this is one option to consider. Again, we'll be doing a separate video for the performance test or benchmarks, so stay tuned for that video in this channel.